We are beginning this evening with the 25th anniversary of the Loma Prieta earthquake. It was October 17, 1989, at 5.04 p.m. The 6.9 magnitude quake rocked the central coast. 63 people in all were killed, hundreds more injured, billions and billions of dollars in property damage. And tonight, throughout our newscast, an in-depth look back at the quake since its impact, or and its impact, I should say, since then, starting with a commemoration ceremony that took place in Santa Cruz today, as they remembered. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was there. He begins our team coverage. Phil? And created About 100 community members, public officials, scientists, an emergency preparedness expert gathered at Memorial Plaza to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Loma Prieta earthquake. Downtown Santa Cruz, then known as the Pacific Garden Mall, was destroyed. Santa Cruz Vice Mayor Don Lane said the earthquake shook our lives and community, but it didn't break us. The, the takeaway from this for me is that we actually have a stronger community, not just because we have stronger buildings, but we've actually built a stronger community. Thousands and thousands of people from around the world now visit the streets of downtown Santa Cruz, but not many of them notice this memorial lamppost. On it are the pictures of two of the Loma Prieta earthquake victims. It's been pretty overwhelming with all the coverage this year, but I think it's most important because it's the 25th. Sean McCormick's two sisters were there, even his 26-year-old daughter, who was just 18 months old when she lost her dad. McCormick and Robin Ortiz died when the coffee roasting company building collapsed. I posted something online and I got lots of stories back of people who knew him that, you know, back then, and it was nice to hear all of it and just learn about him in a way that, you know, I can't learn about him in person. We always said, I love you, I love you, you know, always. We were very close. And I remember kissing him goodbye and saying, I love you. And I still feel that mustache on my lips, you know. And so that's kind of weird to feel that every once in a while, especially this last week. Just down the street from where the U.S. Geological Survey commemorative event was being held, at the town clock are the names of all three downtown victims of the Loma Prieta earthquake. It's amazing to read online the stories and everybody else's experiences as well as ours. Um, it's incredible the stories that you do here. It makes me feel consoled. This open hole where the coffee roasting company toppled 25 years ago is the last spot to be rebuilt. Soon a new development will go up and the rebuilding after the Loma Prieta earthquake will be complete. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.